Hey everybody, this is Carla with Cobweb Corner, and this is normally a channel about cross-stitch and my online cross-stitch shop, but today I wanted to share some of the jewelry um, that I have for sale in my Etsy shop. Um, if you're not interested in this, I totally get that, just skip right by, um, but I do have some unique things to show. Um, most of you might not have known that I used to make jewelry professionally for about 15 years. And then, oh, six or seven years ago, I decided to completely devote myself to my cross-stitch um, side of the business and I quit making jewelry. But I have hundreds of pieces left and I have an Etsy shop. The link for the Etsy shop is down be below. It is Cobweb Corner on Etsy. Um, and uh, I have reopened it. It's been closed for quite some time but I've reopened it for the holiday season and I wanna show you particularly my hidden books necklaces that I have left. And I think this is all of them that I have left that are made. So these, these are actually really cool. Um, and as far as I know, this is, I'm the only one that makes these um, or used to make them. They are on a long brass chain uh, some of the chains close, I think all the chains close with a lobster collapse. And as I describe the jewelry, um, if I say that it's made out of brass, then it is lead and nickel free. And those are the two things that people are usually um, allergic to. But the way this works is the pendant looks like this when you're wearing it. And if you hold it on its side and you push up and pull, you'll see there's a little tiny, sorry, I cut my thumb, little tiny um, book underneath. The book was made by another artist and she gave me permission to use these in my jewelry. This particular one is Shakespeare and you can open the book and there's actually little tiny pages out of the text of the actual book. So these are actually um, just a few pages, obviously it's not the entire book. But this one is Shakespeare, and then to close it, you just snap that back on. So I've got Shakespeare, and then this one is um, Great Expectations. That. And these are, I used to sell these for about 40, I think $49.95 when I went to shows and things like that. But uh, they're currently on sale for, I think, $44, but you get an extra 20% off. So they're under $40. This is Jane Eyer. <clears throat> you can see the different pages in that one. Maybe it's Jane Eyre. I might have said that wrong. And this one is a spelling text. This would be a great design for a teacher or librarian. And it's an old antique spelling text and this one and again you hold it on its side push up and pull and this one is um, a book of incantations so it's like a spell book they are very delicate you have to try not never get them wet try not to play with them too much Always be careful, don't, don't open from the bottom like this. You can pull the book. So again, you just open, you push from the bottom, pull from the top side while holding it on the side. This one is Sense and Sensibility. And this one is, I think, Mechanical Engineering text, with perfect for a student, an engineering student. And this one, hang on here. This one, this was, is one of my favorites. This is a artist sketchbook. Isn't that cool? I just love this. And well, I think this is the last one I have made. This is a world atlas. Um, and it has different maps. It's an old world atlas. So those are what I have for my hidden book necklaces. And again, the link is down below. 
And then just to show you a few other things, and I'm gonna leave these on the cards just to save time, but um, the prices on here are not correct. They are less on my shop, in my shop. And again, if you, I think if you spend $15 or more, you get 20% off automatically, no coupon. So um, just ignore the prices. They're gonna be less than this. These are dyed pearls on um, brass ear wires. And these are flying birds with dyed pearls and Swarovski crystals. And then these are brass and copper with Swarovski crystals. And I hand painted the flowers and highlighted them with copper metallic paint. And then I hand painted these brass tubes. And then these are really popular. These are just some simple black short um, check glass rectangles with glass beads. These are actually vintage glass, vintage German glass, and they're wrapped in brass filigree. And these are some super simple dangles. Again, ignore the price. These are brass dangles, and I don't know if you can see the detail design in those. Super, super lightweight. And again, they're all lead and nickel free. Then I've got these cute, um, whoops, um, angels, angel wings. And those are on sterling silver ear wires. And then I have these little bee earrings. And the way I made these, these were brass blanks. It kind of just looked like that on the back. And what I did was I put the blanks on a heating, a hot plate. And then I melted um, glitter embossing powder onto the blanks, and then I coated it in a really solid, smooth, jewelry grade resin. And then I put the little um, solid brass beads on the top, and those are on solid brass ear wires. These um, little bird earrings I made by, uh, first I painted the back of the blank with white paint and then I used alcohol ink to make the yellow background. And then I took a um, scrapbook stamp and stamped the bird image on there. And then I coated it in a really hard jewelry grade resin. These are just hand painted dangle filigrees. And these are little wish earrings on uh, copper blanks, I think. And I've got these I painted by hand. These are angel wings. I painted in them a green and highlighted them in a gold metallic paint. And these are dangle beaded earrings with a really pretty dark green um, glass bead on the top. These are uh, little tiny bees. And again, I hand painted the back. I painted it white and then I used alcohol ink to uh, uh, paint and kind of dabbed different colors and then that's coated in jewelry grade resin and then I've got these little white elephant earrings that are hand painted with some glass beads oh and here's a couple more hidden book uh, necklaces let's see what these are uh, sorry thought I had them all out this one is Irish fairy tales the Book of Irish Fairy Tales Illustrated. This one is Mansfield Park. She obviously can only do books that are copyright free. That's Mansfield Park, also illustrated. And this one is Astronomy Text. This one's cool too. Um, it says London Science uh, Class Book Astronomy, and it's got moon phases and then different text. So there's some more of those. And then I also wanted to show you some of the other things I made. Um, this is a collage necklace pendant, and I made the pendant by 
putting paper in the back and coloring it. And then I cut out little stickers. It says, be true to yourself. And then I had this umbrella charm and I cut the top of the charm off and painted the umbrella. And all of that is set into this bezel. And you can, I don't know if you can see, it's actually completely um, coated in a really, really hard, super smooth jewelry grade resin. And same kind of thing here. This one says, let go of your fear. And then I painted, I cut the butterfly charm in two so you get one wing. I painted the butterfly and then also painted this bra brass diamond piece to match the colors in the butterfly. And then there's a little um, dragonfly charm hanging down. And then I've got these really beautiful Swarovski crystal, um, what are they called? Rivoli, I think they are, and they're on sterling silver chains, 18 inch sterling silver chains, but isn't that gorgeous? And they're in a sterling silver bezel that I put those in. I've got that one, and then I really like this one for winter. It looks like a snow snowflake. I think it's called an urchin, and it's a Swarovski crystal, and again in the sterling silver setting and the sterling silver chain. Um, then I've got these guitar picks and I have more of them that are made that aren't listed in my shop yet. But these are a lot of fun for someone, um, you know, maybe you have a teenager or a college student and these are brass. They're shaped like a guitar pick. They're not a real guitar pick, they're brass. And again, I put these on a hot plate and I melt embossing powder like what you use on scrapbook cards or, or making cards and I melt the powder on there and then I added some glitter and then I put this um, brass tag that says inspire on this one and then it's coated in that jewelry grade resin and these don't have a clasp they're like a 30 or 32 inch chain you just put over your head and um, there's that one that's inspire and then I've got this one that says Believe. Like that, really pretty colors. And I've got this one that says Create. And like I said, in this one, actually, these are Swarovski crystals, and this is a carnelian gemstone. And then there's little tiny bits of uh, glass accents on that one. That one says create. And I don't know if I, and here's another one. This one is another believe. This one's in red. It's got this glass heart bead. And then again, it's got the um, little pieces of um, glass accents. Those again are scrapbook type things that you can use to um, enhance cards or things like that, collages. Um, and there's more, but I think that's enough to show you guys. Um, again, this, this is most of what's in my shop right now. It's, uh, you can find it on Etsy, but the link is down below. Um, I do have many, many, many more pieces. Most of which, if I don't sell, will be, um, taken apart. And then I'll sell the individual components. I'd have another Etsy shop that is just supplies, um, jewelry making supplies. So, but I really wanted you guys to see how the hidden book necklaces work, how to open them and what they look like inside. So thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed that. Bye-bye.